Hey everybody, it's time once again for The Myth Wits, your favorite show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, we got one of those, and an old friend. Uh, we also uh, we talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse. We'll do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. But we got Brian back on tonight, so Brian bring some laughs with him. He's, it's all been pent up. Uh, I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me on this episode is my uh, noodly appendage, Mike Kafis. Hello, Brian. Oh, God, it's back! Uh, no. <laughs> your, one of your old favorites, Brian Olvera. A classic. Yes, sir. And our buddy from Offshoot Comics, David. David, welcome back again. Thank you for having me, guys. Good to be back. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, so we're, we're gonna tonight. We, uh, we we're gonna play a game. So we're gonna play Jepper Nerdy. So it's gonna be a long, a longer version of Jepper Nerdy. Um, but uh, David just went to San Diego Comic Con, and he's gonna give us a report from there. And Brian's gonna let us know what he's been up to because we haven't talked to him in such a long time. We're happy to have him back, Brian. Brian, tell everybody what you've been up to. Oh Lord, um, been doing a lot of voiceover stuff. Got a video game announcement coming relatively soon without breaking NDA. That's all I can say. So that's coming up. Got that. Looking forward uh, to uh, some more stuff that got announced. Um, I'm now new job. I'm now working at TFS Entertainment. I'm now the production coordinator and the office manager for the company. And uh, we now have a show called Bargain Barrel, which streams the first and third Friday on twitch.tv slash stream four star, where we showcase indie video games that are either being crowdfunded or deserve a spotlight. The rule is it doesn't cost you over 40 bucks. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And David, everybody knows our buddy, David, welcome back again. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, I am, I'm barely hanging in there. I just got back from Comic-Con. I did anime expo. I did a few other industry shows. Oh. Uh, so I haven't had a sleep at all, but <laughs> uh, it, it was a good time. I've recently got a promotion since the last time you guys saw me. Uh, so I'm now a, a brand manager at Bandai Namco Collectibles. Uh, oh, nice. I, right. I now have Gundam and Transformers, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, doing great. Audible's doing good. Volume 2 is coming out pretty soon. Starburns nice. has hired a new publisher, a lot of new people to help us out with uh, both that and the Kickstarter, so things should be happening a little more regularly. Uh, um, but, you know, it's a uh, but a good time. Hey, any update on on the um, uh, uh, grid breakers, right? Yes. So uh, that's part of the the new hires over at Starburns. Uh, prior, there was like two or three people who were handling like everything on the non Rick and Morty front <laughs> at right. Starburns, uh, and they realized, hey guys. They need some help, so they're, they're they're bringing in more people to help us out with that. Uh, and uh, you know, I guess shout out to Cedric and Walter; they've been doing a lot of good work. Because since I'm on the road most of the time, they're handling a lot of it. So, uh, but soon, very soon, our goal is to is to have it up and running uh, and have some actual product by New York Comic Con. So that that'll be in October. Nice. All right. Well, you let us know, and we'll definitely help you uh, spread the word. Yeah, uh, we appreciate it. Back over to the the right code. You gotta let us know, man. We'd love to, you know, meet up with you at some point. Oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll be out there near Comic Con if you guys can come by. Yeah, yeah Comic Con. When is that? It's October, you said. That's the uh, first weekend of October. Ooh, yeah. That's tight. That's tight. <laughs> I will. I will also be back out there for uh, Anime NYC, which is going to be in November. Okay. And then I think uh, I might also be out there again for TFCon, the Transformers convention. Uh, which is in DC, so kind of kind of the same area. That's, That's real it. close. That's, That's real close. Cool. Back. That's, <laughs> right. okay. That's cool. That's cool. And if I get out that way, so I'm I'm trying to get out to the to the West Coast. Uh, where where do you live, David? Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in LA. LA. So, All right. So that's yeah. that's that's good. I'm looking to get out. That way, at some point, I don't know, maybe in January or February. And if I do, if I get out that way, I'll look you up. Um, oh, for sure. I just, I've got, I've got people out there like, like Jason lives on the West Coast. I got a, a bunch of people live on the West Coast that I want to go hang out with. Um, and I just, I need to make it happen. You know, I, I'm, I'm flying around for work, so I'm earning points. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, January is the one month we don't have a show. So, I, I'll try, I'll try and make it happen. All right, fantastic. <laughs> so, um, so uh, real quick. To, 
um, so Brian, can you talk? Any about the stuff you've been voiceovering or anything like that? Is there anything you can talk about? Anything cool that's new? Even in the past, because it's been like yeah, you it, know, it could, three, three the past year. What has what, what come out lately? Lord have mercy. Uh, God, it's, it, this just shows you how long it's been since we've chatted. Uh, uh, I was in Shin Godzilla. That okay. that was a childhood dream fulfilled. Yeah. Right. So got to be in a Toho Godzilla dub. Um. Dragon Ball Super, play a couple right. name parts in Dragon Ball Super. Nice. Um, I, I, about that. I bragged, Brian, I bragged to my son, who was a Dragon Ball fanatic, right? I was okay. like, oh, my buddy Brian does voicing on it. And I showed up, I was like, I, I don't know what character. Uh, and, and remember when I reached out to you one time, and you showed me what it was I showed him, right? Why did he come at me specifically when he was watching the series? He go, yeah, your buddy died. Yeah, I was watching your buddy died. I'm like, really? Yeah, <laughs> it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm, unless yeah. you're a Saiyan, you're probably going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I knew. I mean, hell, the the other name character I got was in a tournament. So it's like, oh, gee, I wonder how long he's going to last. <laughs> An episode or two at best. But, hey, man, I grew up with it. I got to be in it. Not just as a, not just as bit parts, but as named par- as two named characters, which is great. Um I'm also in uh, – well, we, we just uh, started recording for Season 4 of Final Fantasy VII Machina Bridge, and I play Sid for that for Team Four. Uh, I, I showed up in Season 3. We, we just started recording for 4. Um, I'm in, and, like, the most recent thing I'm in is a, is a baseball anime, like one of those nice, like, 30 for 30 dramas – Jet like for Japanese baseball team, so I got to be in that. The show's called Mix, and it's interesting. It's like it's it feels like I'm watching a thirty for thirty, but in Japan. You know, I was ta- I was ta- I was doing so I was doing Cuba Death right, I was, and I was doing some modern anime stuff, and I was asking somebody, "Hey, what what's some of the modern anime?" Because I'm not I'm I'm sort of touch um, to do research, and they said, "Well, sports are big and cooking shows," and uh, I'm like, <laughs> I was like. What? And they're like, yeah, a couple of animes. They they have cooking shows, and then they have uh, like you know it's a competition, uh, but it's like kung fu anime cooking show competition. And then there was yep. uh, like uh, I forget what the the ice skating one was real popular. Oh, Yuri like, on Ice. Yeah, Yuri on Ice. Oh, where are you? Okay. Well, in Cuba Death, there's some Yuri on Ice questions. Nice. So, <laughs> so, what's funny is like when I got to be in that, I'm like, oh, what's all the hullabaloo? And then when I got to sit and record, I'm like. Wow, it's just beautifully animated. The score is phenomenal. Yeah? Like, okay. it is ear candy. It's nice classical shit. Like, this is like you would pay 300 bucks to hear this in an in amphitheater shit. Really nice. Okay. It, the, the score was, I think, what drew a lot of people to watch that show. That Then, you know, you know it's, it's anime, so there's a lot of, like, tropes and stuff, but it's beautifully animated, and the score is phenomenal. I think that that's what got me interested. Neat. Okay. All right. So, uh, so, so David, tell us a little bit. You, you went somewhere, somewhere that, I don't know, people on the Internet are talking about here and there. Some announcements well, were made. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, so, unfortunately, a lot of the cool, cool stuff that I, I did was uh, in meetings with other people big companies that I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to talk about just yet. Three letters. Uh, ink- <laughs> right. uh, so hopefully soon, Name soon one. I'll be able to tell you about that. To talk about. Name one. What? <laughs> <laughs> just know it involves Transformers. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it was some, some, some good stuff there. Uh, we, we had our Dragon Ball Tour stop, which was pretty cool. Uh, we're, we're doing another stop in New York, uh, which is fun. Um, I got to hang out with Sean Schemmel. Uh, the voice of Goku. Yeah. Uh, got to do a Kamehameha wave with him. I didn't cry. I promise you, I didn't cry. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you. We, yeah, <laughs> we also had uh, our Gundam uh, uh, 40th anniversary. Uh, we, we had a really big Gundam exhibit happening. We had, we had I like, saw that. Yeah. No, it was dope. We had five booths uh, on the inside of the floor. We had the Gundam activation on the outside, the Dragon Ball tour. Then we had a pop up shop with bait. Uh, basically, because our company hates us and wanted us to die, it was ridic- It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone else had fun, which was the point. Yeah. Uh, and so we're looking forward to doing New York Comic Con, which is going to be mainly just uh, for Dragon Ball. So hey, if you're out there, uh, hit me up. 
uh, you know, also doing big stuff with Godzilla too. So, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, so David, let me ask you because uh, you know, just, just get. I want to get your opinion on this. All right. So, there's, there's mm -hmm. a, Marvel made a bunch of announcements. Yes. What? And I'm not going to get anything that's you know whatever trollish or whatever. I, I'm going to ask about Blade. What do you think about them replacing Blade? I like that actor. I like him. I yeah. think he's going to do a good job. But like, God, I loved Wesley Snipes in that role too. Like, so it's it's kind of like yeah. Oh. You know? So I would have I would have liked for maybe for them to bring uh, you know Wesley back as an older Blade because I know in the comics he had like a daughter or something. It would have been cool to do like maybe one or two movies with him. You know, like passing torch off to his daughter and that okay. way bring him into the MCU because you know a lot of comic book movie success is based off the back of Blade. So that'd be cool to give him his like one one and a half movies, pass it off to the daughter, and go on from there. That yeah. being said. With them bringing Marshala Ali in there, they had destroyed the Netflix universe. So now we don't have to worry about that ever again. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it's possible. It's possible that uh, – because I heard a rumor somewhere that Wesley might still be part of it. And he, mm. he may be handing the torch off because Blade's not his name. Right. Right? That's sort right. of like True. just a title he goes by. So maybe uh, it'll be – you know, he'll, he'll take on the, the role of Whistler – Right, mm -hmm. and and he'll be handing it off to the new blade. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. That would be yeah. nice. Plus, there's multiverse, so I oh, mean, you know, really, okay. here really we go. anything can happen now at this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's why whenever I I see people getting all hot and bothered over stuff, I'm like, guys, the word multiverse was thrown out there. There's no right. point to bitch anymore. It could be right. anything, anybody. Any writer, any film writer. This is coming from experience. I literally could just point to a whiteboard that says multiverse in red. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, Doc is happening? and Doctor Strange <laughs> is like, I mean, it. you know, it's basically Doctor Strange is going to really cement the multiverse in. Right. Right. It which means anything can happen. Shumagorath. Shumagorath. <laughs> Come on, Marvel, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 excited for for a lot of stuff that they announced. The only thing I'm a little worried about is uh, is the Thor Love and Thunder. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how that's gonna go. But so far, the only movie I didn't really like super duper like outside of Dark World, which no one likes, was uh was the uh, was Captain Marvel. Like it was like eh, you know, which yeah. let me down. Cause I'm a big Marvel fan. And so I was really looking forward to that one, you know. Um, but yeah. other than that, they haven't really made too many stinkers, you know. You know what? I watched I watched Captain Marvel last night, and I didn't hate it, but it's just average. It was right. Meh. And I mean, that was it, the pro that's what hurt, and it hurts more, in my opinion, <laughs> that it's yeah. so run of the mill. I mean, it was right. it was in Iron Man two territory, I think, right. Oh, I'm weird. I'm no, I like Iron Man too. I'm, I'm weird. Why didn't he? <laughs> again, I again, I didn't. Uh, it's another one. I didn't hate Iron Man too. People hate it. I don't. Right. I didn't hate it. It's like right. I don't know, Incredible Hulk territory, like with with the Ed Norton. Didn't hate oh, it, yeah. but but like yeah. meh, like me. It, it it was a movie. Yeah, basically, you right. know. But uh, and, and to be yeah. fair, to be fair, if it wasn't an MCU movie, if it wasn't in this prestigious class. Right, I probably wouldn't be as harsh. Like if that had just been its own movie that came out, no one ever heard of Captain Marvel before. Someone releases Captain Marvel movie, I probably wouldn't be as critical, right? Because right. I know Marvel can do better. That's uh, that's my yeah. point. Like it, it wasn't right. bad. It just wasn't great. It also well, didn't help that it came out after Infinity War. Yeah, I mean, it's kind right. of right. Like... And they they kept <laughs> hyping her up to be super important, the the most powerful Avenger, and you know she didn't really do much in Infinity War. Uh, but on top of that, she's also way too overpowered, so there's not many people that she can fight. What I'm looking forward to, though, is when they bring mutants in. Rogue is going to come and get what's hers, and it's going to and it's going to depower her. So instead of always being in binary, she can level up to binary for end fights, but not yeah. always be god mode. You See, know. I bet, I That's bet I would why. like. I bet I would like Captain Marvel a lot more after Rogue gets a hold of her and she gets like you know they they nerfed. Nerfed a little yeah. bit. I think I would like yeah. her more. I really do. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, hold on. So getting back to that, I think when we when we hit phase four and it goes more galactic, I think that she's going to be nerfed by definition where all the other characters around her are going uh, yeah. to be more powerful. Yeah, and that's that's very likely. 
if if I may. Oh, good. Um, so the Eternals got announced, mm-hmm. cast and all. Right. That is a very significant thing for the MCU because the Eternals are basically going to explain how mutants come into the picture. I think right. so, yeah. Because the Celestials made three things on Earth. Eternals, Deviants, and man with the mutant gene. Right. So that's the, – the all the Eternals is going to really serve at first is to show, oh, this is how mutants happen instead of wasting 45 minutes of an X-Men movie to explain that. It's like here's the Eternals. Here's how – Thanos' people became a thing. Right. And the way I see it, especially since half of it is going more street level with Shang-Chi and, you know, Captain Falcon and Winter Soldier and the rest of it is going cosmic, you know, with multiverse threats and stuff. I think it'll scale out a little bit with Captain Marvel because, again, they just confirmed that Nightmare is the villain for Doctor Strange 2. Right. So it's like, yeah, we're getting into the... We're getting into the heavy hitters now. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna make one to request. Just try to punch Galactus. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna yeah. make one request to the universe. When you bring the X Men in, bring in the Star Jammers. Like, can we can we have the Star Jammers too? Like, can, can we can we do that as the same movie? That would be so awesome. I love the Star Jammers. I love X Men <laughs> Star Jammers. You know, with the yeah. Shire Empire. Because we got the cream, we got the scroll. Let's bring in the Shire. Yeah. Let's bring in. Come on, right. man. Let's do it. Bring in the Brood. Now, Let's do the Brood. Now, here's it. A- Here's an argument that I got into at SDCC. Uh, we were arguing on whether or not Marvel will ever take on the Phoenix because it has mm. failed twice. Yeah. I think I think the Phoenix is something that they're going to have to contend with eventually. There's no – if you bring mutants in, you will get Jean Grey. You will get the Phoenix. Yes. Yeah. I think, yeah. They need to build it up. Yeah. Just like Thanos. It has to be a slow buildup. That's right. why the Dark Phoenix failed. It was just one movie. Oh, Jean Grey's right. Phoenix. Yeah. No, it, you have to build that up. Yeah. yeah. And see, what I would like is, I would like, just like now, now that the Avengers for the most part are kind of like not really a thing now, I would like it to be, you know, you bring mutants in in one of the phases, you start building the conflict between humans and the mutants, and then you build up to AVX. The thing that can bring the Avengers back together is the incarnation of all life that ha- ever was, is, and will be is now on Earth doing whatever it wants. Or trying to protect it. <laughs> or David, or we take another direction, a slightly different direction. Same, same, same thought. I'm, I'm on board with you. Except yeah. we create the Defenders because hmm. you got Doctor Strange, who's supposed right. to be running the, the def- legit Defenders. Right, the legit, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the real defenders. defenders. Yeah, yeah. Because Doctor <laughs> Strange is sort of a protector of the Earth from that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool because then you don't have to like reincarnate the Avengers, and you can right. activate the whole Defenders line. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they the, the Defenders does need some redemption after yes that travesty that happened. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> so many no. good ideas on paper, but execution. Yeah. Well, come on. They, also, they, when they made the, the defenders, universe, they they just put together a team of people that punch. Yeah. Let's have. But like, I I think for the Netflix universe, I think they should bring over Punisher and Daredevil. Oh like yes. Those two actors, yes. they they need to be saved. Hell yes. I really I really love they, those. I agree. Yeah. Hell to the yes. Let letting those two characters just fade away into dust is a sin. Right. And I'm because okay. Hey, I like Charlie Jessica Cox. Jones. Jessica Jones was good too. Yeah, well, here's season the thing. one. Season one. Season one. Yes, I love agreed. It. Agreed. Season one. Yeah. Season one was great, but then again, we also had a great villain. For yes, we did. One. yes, we did. Yes, we did. That's true. But yes, we did. like the th- the thing of it is, Kevin Feige said, at the end before he announced Blade. Oh, we didn't have time to announce all this stuff. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna tell us all this shit in D23. Don't lie to me, Kevin. <laughs> you're gonna say you're gonna say the stuff we really want to hear at D23 because he threw. Everything we wanted. Guardians 3, Black Panther 2, Fantastic Four, Mutants. It's like, we want that so bad. For Can we curse? I forgot. Yes, go I, for it. For fuck's sake, you teased the Baxter building in Far From Home. They did. No, but I think they did yeah. that on purpose. I think they did it on purpose. I know they did it on purpose. You teased the Baxter building. You showed it off near the end of the movie. It's like... Wait a minute, they did something else too. I was watching a video and a guy showed where Spider-Man lands. There's this wall that has construction and it had one, two, yeah. three, and then four had a question mark. That yeah. was so yeah. cool. That was very cool because it said, what comes it, next? Yeah, I was like, Fantastic Four, please. Yes. <laughs> you know what's you know, funny? Sorry. Um, yep. So uh, there's a YouTuber I watch, Robert Jefferson from Comics Explained. He mm-hmm. basically oh, he pointed out something. 
the recent comics, the recent issues that are coming out seem to be teasing what's going to be announced because there was that Blade versus Wolverine comic. And Blade was drawn a lot like Marsha Ali. Oh, nice. And okay. what happened? And then in the new Fantastic Four, Reed Richards looks a lot like John Krasinski, and Susan Storm looks like Emily Blunt. I'm I want good with that both those. so go both those bad, so bad because they are perfect. <laughs> I watched A Quiet Place, and I'm like, yes, yeah. That's you know, they, they, they can pull it off. I, I I believe in Marvel. Now the one thing I'm I'm worried about. The only thing I'm worried about now is Spider Man, because the Sony. Way it ended. I don't I don't trust Sony. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I know the contract is almost up. You Who know. Can blame you. Yeah. We got one more. Well, <laughs> uh, we can, can squeeze squeeze one more out of. I tell you what, though, they can't they can't fuck up Spider Man. They can't because my daughter loves Spider Man. She loves Tom Holland. She yeah. loves Spider Man. Matter of fact, when um. When uh, Endgame was, and then spoilers, fuck off. Um, when Endgame was happening, and Spider Man swung like before he, right before he swung on, swung on the screen, she's like, "Where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man?" And he comes swinging in, and she's just like, "Spider Man!" Like that's the only hero she wanted to bring back. She didn't give a fuck about anybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, Although, I did read an article saying that the best movie they're gonna try to. Wedge in Deadpool is the third Spider-Man movie. Ooh, yeah. I want Spider-Man wedged into Deadpool. <laughs> it could work. I'm telling you, it could work. The the yeah. minute you, I would it, just put a poster just the, with the Spider-Man fall, but you see Deadpool's hand. That's yes. like three. Right. Just take all my money. You will make yeah. all the money because like, then you, hey, you Ryan Reynolds back with Tom Holland. Oh. You could have so, you could you could have so many jokes where, where Tom Holland's just like I don't know what you said, Mister Pool, but it's uh, it's really making me uncomfortable. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would love for Disney to to censor Deadpool, but like in the movie though, like that that would be cool. You know, like it's like beeps and like the beeps and audio yeah. missing. You know, like you know. <laughs> Dude, you saw? Did you did you see? Did you see Once Upon a Deadpool? No, I haven't. Oh, you gotta watch the, it! Oh my PG, god, you gotta the watch PG-13 it. PG thirteen cut. It is so <laughs> fucking funny. It's so funny. Like they censor stuff, and when they do, it's funnier than it was in the like. Oh, it's so funny. They're so crafty. Yeah. But David, I see what you're saying too. Like he knows he's being censored, and it's right. he's like, he's like fighting the fourth wall. Yeah. You know? Like that would be an awesome uh, aspect. That would be like, like it'd be funny if he always interrupts him. Right, he's right. about to say something like a bus goes by, right. or a car crashes, right. and, he, and, like, and he's like, and he's like, shit, I'm trying to cuss here. <laughs> yeah, that? in the Disney cartoons, they did that where he was trying to threaten someone. He's like, I'm gonna make you unalive, like because he he had to keep getting ways around what he wanted to say, you know. So I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> funny. All right, hey everybody, we got a game to play, and then we can come back and talk. Right. We get the game done in time. But let's let's do the game. Now, let me see. I gotta get. I got, I got things I gotta do here. All right, so I gotta do this. We're gonna play some Jepper Nerdy. So, here we go. Uh, oh God, please work. Hey, it worked. All right, everybody. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta do this. There we go. There's music. Hi. Uh, so uh, I got. If you guys can see, there's a new setup I got here, which is an old setup, really. But anyway, so we're gonna play Jepper Nerdy. So what I have done is I've taken five of our games and I have smashed them together. Uh, I've done, uh, what, what do we got here? I got, uh, two this or that's, two different versions of this or this or that. I've got, um, a who pub that, which I'm calling who directed that. I got a soundbite madness and a bet the geek. So what I'm going to do guys, let me share my screen here. Um, let me do this. There you go. All right. Oh, give me one second here. Uh, All right. Game. Game main. Let me do this. I gotta adjust this because I didn't foresee that doing the thing that it's doing. Um, let's gotta fix this thing real quick. So, uh, getting back to uh, Netflix real quick. Did Netflix shoot themselves in the foot, or were they shot in the foot by Disney more so with a lot of the properties, and then them having to stop them and did you know not being able to maybe work cre as creatively as they thought it's this a bit of a me. mess it's a little bit of both more yeah. more on disney like 
Because again, like I, I've been telling people this honestly. If the demand is high enough, they'll just put the the Netflix shit on Disney Plus. That's true. All right, I tell you, Mike, Mike, I'm good. I'm good. It's fixed. All right. <laughs> it only took me a second. Hey, hey. Only took me a second. Stalling. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. So we're gonna play some Jet Burn Nerdy. So what we're gonna do? You guys can see the screen, right? This is how this works. I'm gonna ask you to pick a category and pick a number. You can pick any number you want, one through five, right? That's how many points it's worth. But if you get it wrong, that's how many points you lose. Everybody's starting with 10 points. All right? Cheesies are species. So what I've done is I've taken D&D &D monsters. Uh, oh, so no. this is either going to be a cheese, some kind of cheese, or a D&D &D monster. Who directed that is basically, any, it's going to be a geek movie. I'm going to tell you the name of the movie, and you're going to tell me who directed it. Soundbite Madness, I'll play a sound for you, and you'll tell me what movie it's from. Uh, Trump or Tommy? Okay, this is one I've been wanting to play for a long time. Trump or Tommy? So, did Donald Trump say this, or did Tommy Wiseau say this? You guys know who Tommy Wiseau is, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, Mark. Well, hi, Mark. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> All right, so either Donald Trump said this, or Tommy Wiseau said this. And the last category is Bet the Geek, which is basically just geek questions. So, it's going to be stuff from comics, or anything from geek geekdom. So... What I'm going to do, Brian, since you are you were our guest, you were one of our hosts for a long time, I'm giving you the honor of going first. Now, this is how this works. If you get it right, you get to go again until you get it wrong, right? Okay. As soon as you get it wrong, it moves on to the next contestant. So, Brian, you're up first. What category and what number would you like? Let's start with who directed that for two. Who directed that for two? All right. Your movie is Aliens. Aliens. Okay. Aliens, not Cameron. Alien. James Cameron. All right. And Brian? There we go. That is correct. Two points, Brian. Very good. All right, Brian, okay. what's your next one? Uh, cheesier Species for three. Cheesies or Species for three. All right. Are you able to mark the screen done afterwards? Is it will it pop up on the? Uh... Yes, it will. Never mind. I see it now. Thank okay. you, Mike. Uh, Cheese of species number three, boulette. 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 I'm fairly certain I just faced some. Uh, I'm gonna go with species. Brian. That is correct. A boulette. Boulette is a land shark, a fictional, mm -hmm. heavily scaled carnivorous monster. Land Good shark. job. That's a Saturday Night Live uh, beast, isn't it? <laughs> That's <laughs> also what uh, gave the idea for Tremors. Yes. All right, Brian, what's next? Uh, bet the Geek for two. Bet the Geek for two. All right. So bet the geek for two. Name the five original members of the X-Men assembled by Professor X. Five original. Jesus H. Chrism. We're going old school. Yes, we are. <sighs> David knows this one. I'm counting my head right now. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> Shoot. Um, Angel. Correct. The next one I'm afraid to i I'm afraid to say. I want to say Beast? That is correct. Okay. But he he looked different. He the whole thing was with the feet. Mm -hmm. Um Oh my lord. And Charles doesn't count, so did this, so I got two out of five. Cyclops? Cyclops is correct. Okay. Doing good. Only two more. I know. I know. God. I used to have the giant size X-Men comic. Fuck. Um, I, I want to say Iceman. Correct. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, uh. Did he have to get five? I thought He's got to get all five. All five, I know. I know, like, the first two were, like, off the top of my head with the last one. Shit. The 
original, the original. All right, Brian, we're running out of time. I know, I know. Uh, you know what? I, 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 I'm pretty sure this is wrong. Uh, Wolverine. Oh, so close, Brian. Marvel Girl. Jean Grey. Oh, right. Yeah, because... Oh, God. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good run there, Brian. But, David, you're up. What would you like? Uh, Let's try uh, Bet the Geek for one. Bet the Geek for one. All right. Name the six colors on a Rubik's Cube. Green. Correct. Yellow. Okay. White. Blue. Red. This is the one that everybody <laughs> hesitates on. Green, yellow, white, blue, red. Oh my god, my colors are awful. Uh, oh. Black. Oh, so close. <laughs> Orange. Yep. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, I know. I know. Mike knew that one. Yes, I did. Mike's been been on the Rubik's cube tip lately. All right, so Mike, <laughs> Mike, you're up. What do you want? Oh, I want Trump or Tommy. For Trump one. or Tommy for one. All right, All right here we go. Now, I'm not going to read this like anyone in particular. I'm just going to read it flat because if I put any affect on it, you're going to – whatever. All right, it says, I like thinking big. If you're going to be thinking anything, you might as well think big. So is that, hi, Mark, I like thinking big. <laughs> or is it, I like thinking big. If you're going to think anything, think you have to be free. And I'm going to say that that is definitely a Trumpism. Mike? That is correct. <laughs> that is from Art of the Deal. I would just like to say I am not channeling my inner Trump. I am <laughs> and, and dare I say touching it lightly. Okay. What do you want next? <laughs> anyway, go ahead. No, you go ahead. What do you want next? Uh, two, two, of course. Number two, two. Tom. Tom. Okay, two. all right. Mike's been wanting to play this game too. All right, they betrayed me. They didn't keep their promise. They tricked me, and I don't care anymore. They betrayed that is me. A Tommyism. Yeah. It's a Tommyism. Very good, Mike. Yes, it is. That is, in fact, from the room. Trump would not have said they betrayed me. He would say they made a big mistake. They made a mistake and they did not make the right decision. All right. So what's next? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm pushing my luck. Oh, do I want to push my? No. You know what? I want to go soundbite madness for one. Oh, soundbite madness. Okay. Ready? Yes. Never send a human to do a machine's job. Mr. Anderson. From the Matrix. All right, Mike, that is absolutely correct. That was only worth one point. That was an easy one. Yep, sound right, like madness for two. For two. Now you see that evil will always triumph because good is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, it's, oh my God, why am I blanking on it? I see it. Space balls. Poof, there you was, go. All right. Very good, Mike. That is space balls. Um, All right, so for our audio listeners, real quick, uh, Brian's at 13, David's at 9, and Mike is currently at 16. Oh, dear. This could change, to, this go, could change quickly. I'm going to go big, or I'm going to allow someone else to, to have a shot. So I'm going to go uh, soundbite madness for four, because I can go skip, right? Yeah, you can, sure. Right, Soundbite right, Madness right. for four. Here we go. Unbelievable. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear it again, Mike? Yes, I said play it again, yes. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, that sounds like Chris Tucker. Oh, dang it. I knew that one, too. I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to, I'm reaching, I'm reaching, and I'm going to say that that is, I, uh, hmm, 
what is it? Uh, oh shit! Because it's, it's Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, and it was a movie. And it hey, I get called... to use my I get to use my new my new thing. Here we go. You got five seconds, Mike. Oh fuck you! <laughs> uh, it's called. Uh, uh, Oh. All right, come on. I need an answer. I'm just kidding around. You got a second, but what? What is it? Uh, I cannot think of the name of the movie. Um. So Chris Tucker and Jackie Tan. Is that what you're saying in that movie? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're wrong. It's. <laughs> is it fifth element. Is it fifth element? It's fifth element. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> it's not, not Jackie Chan at all. Ah. I didn't waste not the even... audience. Was it? It wasn't Chris Tucker talking. That no, was, was Chris him. Tucker. It was. He was in the, the wrong movie. Yeah, you're him like in the wrong that, genre. That, that. Hey, I'm giving myself a victory uh, moral point. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's fine. You do that, Brian. You're up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, who directed that for four? Who directed that for? All right, awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. What I'm gonna mark this off. All right. Who directed that for? Okay. District Nine. Neil Blumkamp. Very good, Brian. Very good. No wonder you made that Blumkamp compliment. Comment. <laughs> it it's made close. me think. It made me think of it. All right, so Brian, <laughs> what's next? Um, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do who directed that for five. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this one is deceptively hard. Some people, I mean, if you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't stand a fucking chance of guessing. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. I know, his, I know his first name. I can't remember his last. Shit. That's the thing. I know his first name. I don't, I don't know his last name. Hey, put his first name out there. Go for your moral point. <laughs> Uh, come on, it's with, it starts with an it's with an I or or oof. And, and look at me, how pathetic am I right now? Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm 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 sp I'm beat on that one. You got me, Peter. Gotcha. All right. It's Irvin Kirshner. I was going to say Kirschwin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. It's funny because, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's Empire Strikes Back and like, who doesn't know Empire? You know, it's like, it's like, oh, that's, yeah. and then you're like, oh shit, it wasn't Lucas. Fuck. Right. Lucas only, only did. <laughs> did the one. All right. David, you are up. Um, all right. I had bad luck last time. Let me try something easy this time. Cheese is a species for one. Cheese is a species for one. All right. Tillamook. Oh, that's cheese. That is <laughs> correct. I yes, know sir. food. That I yes. for sure know. <laughs> Tillamook. That's correct. All right. What's next? Uh, let me try uh, Bet the Geek for three. Bet the Geek for three. All right. I forgot to put a sound effect in for this one, but this is a daily double or the equivalent of. Oh, so no. everybody, I'm. In, I, I didn't tell you to write something down, so just I'm gonna have, we're going to play an honor system. Just get your answer locked in. When we're locked in, just tell me you're good, and you can tell me if you got it right or not. I'll, I'll trust you. All right. So, uh, what is the secret? What is, or what secret ingredient does Jesse Pinkman? Put into his meth. Dang, I never watched that show. Okay. Ah. Uh, dang. But you know what show uh, I'm talking about? Because that's, that's that's good. You actually, at least you I, recognize. I know it's Breaking Bad. Right. I just never watched it because there's no <sighs> superpowers in it. David, you uh, gotta watch Breaking Bad. Is so good. I know. I know. I keep hearing that in the wire. I keep hearing. I have to see. Ah. Uh, all right. All right. Hold on. Everybody locked in. Everybody locked in. Yeah, I'm locked, locked in. in, Mike. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. I got a, I got a decent guess. Okay. So, Mike, you got yours. Yes. All right, David. What's right. going on the line, David? Shot, shot in the dark. Sugar. <laughs> no, that's not. That is. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Brian. 
I haven't watched the show, but I only remember this from one scene that was a, a joke. Gatorade? Brian, that is... Yeah. <laughs> Mike? So, I know that one of... The, I, I changed my answer. I, I know it's either one of these two things, right? So, I said... I can't uh, see your phone. Yeah, whatever. I said Just Tabasco me. sauce, but okay. it's either that or chili powder, and I can't remember which one it is, so I'm going to go with Tabasco because I have to lock something in. Oh, man, Mike. Oh, it's chili powder. Fuck chili powder. It. Chili pee. <laughs> All right. Well, David, even though you got – was that – I just remember, yo, Gatorade me, bitch. <laughs> That's all I remember <laughs> from that show. <laughs> I'm actually considering doing a rewatch soon. Oh, it was so good. So good. Yeah. All right, so yeah. so David, um, all right, so for our audio listeners, uh, the score is nine. Brian has nine. David has seven. Mike has nine. So we're pretty close, but David, you still have control of the – or, yeah, David, you still have control of the board. Okay. Um, let's go all in. Bet the Geek for four. Uh, but the geek for four. Okay. Sorry. Uh, in all right, this is a good one. You should be able to get this one. In Attack on Titan, okay. which is the outermost wall and is breached by the Colossal Titan and the Armor Titan. Okay. So as well as Rose, Sheena, and Maria. I think it's Wall Maria. Yep. Maria. That is yep. absolutely correct. Yes. Anime. All right. <laughs> you got <laughs> That. Totally. Good deal, man. You, you, so you jumped right ahead. All right. Oh, thank God. David, where are you going right. next? Let me, uh, still a little cautious. Cheeses or species for two? Cheeses or species for two? All right. Rakshasa. Rakshasa. All right. That sounds too crazy to be a cheese. So I'm going to say a D&D character. <laughs> That is correct. Rakshasa right. is a type of evil outsider that is now native to the prime material plane. Mm, okay. All right, I'm I'm awful with... hands. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm awful at this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, who directed that for one? All right. Who directed that for one? All right. Blade Runner. Uh, okay. Don't hate me. I never saw this movie. Oh, David. Come on. <laughs> come on. Oh. Killing me. Uh, I we had a good run. Oh, we had a good run. run. Yeah, I, I have I have to pass. I don't know. I'm sorry. Take a guess. Any director? Just name a director. Uh, uh Spielberg. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Dang. Can I get that? a moral victory? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Ridley Scott. That is correct, Mike. Oh. All right. And there's no doubt in my mind that Brian knew that as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, my point uh, with you, Brian. All right, so Mike, you're up. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, da, 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 let's go. Mo movie bite madness for three. Okay. Movie bite madness for three. Everybody at school thinks I'm a freaking idiot because of you. Hmm. Uh, uh, tots. Oh, oh. hey, uh, uh. What's his name? Jesus! It's it's. Uh, don't relax. Focus. Concentrate. <laughs> Idiot! Go! Oh my God! What? Oh, I'm. I'm <laughs> All right, Wait, come on, Mike. Make, make something up. <laughs> No, no, I'm not making up. It's, it's, it's. No, it's, no, it's, I, you're. Uh, look, I'll give you a hint. You are fucking red hot. I know, dude. I know. I'm. I know. You know it, but I can't give it to you unless you say the words. I'm sorry. I I, I just, the uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, what's his face? Give me some of your tots. No, oh, shut up. Give me some of your tots. Hey, you're. Duh. Oh my God! This is killing me. I am. I am. Really, I'm dying on the vine, and I'm hating myself. <laughs> You're gonna be like motherfuck. I know. I know. No. Uh, right. uh, I just need a few more seconds before I. I All right. I give. A, I'll give you a few more seconds. Hmm. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Can I give uh, him one hint, guys? Come on. He knows this. Can I give him one hint? No. It's. Mm. It, it, 
All right, he, go ahead. I'm mind blocked. All right, Mike. Come on, man. Something. Um, um, oh, shit. I'll take either name. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> set the timer. Hey. Faha. Holy, holy move. Come on, Mike. Something. Um, um, um. I hate myself. I right. literally hate myself right now. Okay, I'm sorry, Mike. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I, hate I hate myself. Oh, you know what? I would like to say. I would just like to say that I did not look into the chat room. Obviously, I would have gotten it because people were, like, you know, shouting it out. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. All right. I, I, Brian, you're back up again. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so. I. Wow. I'm looking at my thing, and I think I accidentally clicked off. So did I click that off? We'll come back to that. All right, go ahead, Brian. Pick something. Hmm. Man, this is getting gnarly. Um, <clears throat> well, let's finish the uh, who directed that pillar for three. All right, this is the last daily double. Everybody, you get to guess on this one, so get ready. The movie is Jaws. Who directed Jaws? Let me know when you're locked in. I Brian's locked in. in. Locked Mike's in. locked in. Dave's locked We're in. We're all locked all right, in. I'll start with Brian because it's your, it's yours. I'll go with you first. But what do you say? Spielberg. Spielberg. Mike, what did you have? I didn't say Spielberg. All right. What did you think it was? I said James Cameron because like they're, they're like twins to me. Oh. No <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, whatever you say. All right. So, uh, David. I also had Spielberg. Did you have Spielberg? All right, fantastic. I believe you. All right. He's one of three directors that I know, so. All right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Spielberg. Right. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of people don't don't realize he did a horror movie. He did one of the best horror movies ever. That was his one of his first, too. Yes, it was. That was. All right, so Brian, you still got the board. Mhm. Let's do Sound by Manus for 5. Sam my man is for five. Here you go. Ready? Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Damn. Of course, it would be a very generic line of dialogue. Oh, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is not. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> Let me hear it one more time. Sure. Sure. Here you go. Ready? Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Mm. You know the actor, right? Very distinct voice. I, 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 well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hmm. The words are not going to help you, other than uh, if you knew that if you recognize the quote. Like it's not you can't find a clue in the words themselves. Right. But it's very specific to a certain movie, and it's very specific to a certain actor. Okay. I hate to say this. We'll play it one last sure. time. Yeah. Absolutely. Ready. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. There's a reason this is a, a fifth level it fight. Is. That is correct. Um, Here's the clue. It's not Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> I actually know this one. Yeah. I know who so said it. I'm 50-50 I'm on the movie. Okay. I'm gonna, this is the best guess I got. I want to say Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay. But is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. it sounds like Matthew Broderick. I'm sorry. No. All right, so I know David. I I, I can see it in David's face. Mike, what do you? What you what's it's Bruce Campbell? Bruce Campbell, right? And it's the third movie, and I uh, I'm I'm having issues because because it's me. Right. So that would be wrong. David. That would be wrong. But it's right. It's Bruce Campbell. Uh, David. Okay. Is a uh, it's Ash from Evil Dead Three, right? Yes, it is. It is. That is. <laughs> Was it from the third movie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what's that is I've only seen one and two. Oh, mm. right. you got to fix that. You need to fix that, Brian. All right. I know. <laughs> it's a, that's awesome. It's so funny. All right, so Brian, blah, 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 blah. David. Yes. You're, oh, for our audio listeners, uh, 
Brian is now at seven. David is at 15. Mike, you're at three. Yeah. Three? Okay. Yeah, you're three. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Just to point. <laughs> because every time you get one wrong, you lose points. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> They're fancy pants. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's finish off Bet the Geek for five. Bet the Geek for five. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, I need to keep that one. Sorry. Oh, fucked up. All right. Uh, Bet the Geek for five. Sorry. I picked the wrong thing. All right. Name two of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons. Stop picking things I don't watch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. Oh, God. Dude, I, I picked from, like, super popular oh. fandoms. I mean, come on. That is kind of a look, you problem look, there. Look behind me. I, I watch Gundam, and I read Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. excuse, excuse me while I stare at my Game of Thrones novels on my oh. bookshelf. All right. <laughs> All right, so. This is what happens in trivia I'm games. Say, I'm gonna say Spike and Sparky. Well, you know what, David? That's up. <laughs> and uh, followed up by up. Uh... <laughs> all right. Uh, just, just for uh, all right, Brian, name one of them. Drogon. All right, Mike, name another one. Ro Rogath, Rogar. Close. Uh, Ray Regal. That's very close. Ray Regal. All right, <laughs> David. I go to Mike now, Mike. Oh, wait a minute. I got to. Oh, Jesus. All right. You know what? Trump or Tommy's been good to me. So, uh, yes, it has. They've both been good to you. <laughs> I'm going to go Trump or Tommy. Trump or Tommy for three. We're going to just run this pillar. All right. Come on. All right. No, I'm not into anal. Hmm. <laughs> That's the best quote of the whole bunch. <laughs> no, I'm not into you know. right. uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say Tommy Wasayo. Oh, Mike, I'm so sorry. That was a 50 50. No, it was Trump on the Howard Stern show. Oh, that sounds so presidential. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It's How awesome. professional. <laughs> no, right? Oh, my God. Oh, all right, so for audience listeners, Brian is at seven, David is at ten. Mike, hit the double, hit, hit the big old donut. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not playing to zero? I thought what? I thought I won. We're playing to zero, right? <laughs> that, yeah, okay. All right, Brian, you're up. All right, so I'm going to go... Uh, da, 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 da. I, you know what? I haven't done Trump or Tommy at all okay. yet. Let's do Trump or Tommy for five. For five? Oh, he's going for the big numbers. All right. Well, first of all, if you look at background, you work hard, you make money. It's no secret, okay? You work very hard, you make money. Mm. <laughs> the best part is, is that... Tommy Wiseau is like, I don't know, he's like, he's, he's like a special education child, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just repeat it one last sure, time. Sure, sure. I love to. I would love to, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, if you look at background, you work hard, you make money. It's no secret, okay? You work very hard, you make money. Those That's, are sentences. That those are actual sentences. That's Tommy. I, I concur. That is correct, Brian. Because who says, look at background? <laughs> <laughs> look at background. That's from a right. 2015 Reddit AMA. So not only did he, he didn't say that, he actually typed that. He typed it so he could think about what he was saying. All right. He chose not to. Mm. All right, Brian. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go cheeses or cheesies or species for four. Cheeses or species for four. All right. Aboleth. Oh, that's a that's a D and D monster. Oh, I like your. 
I like your decisiveness. That is correct. It's a fish-like amphibian of immense size, often re reaching 20 feet and weighing up to 6,500 pounds. Consider one of the old ones. Very good, Brian. That net you four points. Okay, and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Try and finish cheese, cheesies or species for five. Okay. A turkey. I'll spell it. E T O R K I. A turkey. A turkey. Taiko Watiti. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> I'm gonna go with cheese. Brian. A pasteurized sheep's milk cheese made in French Basque region of the Pyrenees. Wow! Very good, Brian. Very good, Brian. All right, only two left. Brian, I think you got this wrapped up unless you, like, get... You can't get both of them in bone. But go ahead. What, what What's next? Um. Wait, wasn't uh the... Who directed that for three? Wasn't that the double down from everyone? Oh, shoot. You are right. It was. That one's finished. So there's off. one so, left. There's one left. It's you, man. All right. Give it to me. All right. Trump or Tommy? Because you talk about Chinese, you know, rednecks and all this crap. We live in America. One of the good things, what we have with all the people, is we have dialogue. Let me go with Trump. Mm. Oh, but it was wrong. That was wise, Al. You would think okay. it was Trump, but that was that was Tommy. That was Tommy. Mm. All right, and that concludes our episode of Jeff Bar Nerdy. Mike Hardy Donut zero points. Mike got zero. Play the music. David 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 came in second place with ten points. Not too bad. Didn't lose any. Didn't gain any. Brian. <laughs> 17 so brian oh Woo. wait a minute where is it do i have where the hell do i i don't do i not have it do i not have it where's the uh, oh there we go there you go brian here i'm gonna let me put it on you <laughs> nice you know it's funny i was doing this for you mike for a hint uh napoleon oh. yeah oh Hey, you want to know another deep cut I was thinking about the other day now that you're here? Can I do it for you? Oh, okay. no. I'm going to save it for the end of the show. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I know my answer. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> all right, all right. All right, so, hey, guys, we're going to we got to wrap up soon, but let's see. We're, um, we got a minute to talk about anything else you guys want to wrap up. But let, t tell me where to find you guys, what you're doing, all that kind of stuff. Brian, let's start with you. What do you you got a, you got a show, right? Yep, we have Bargain Barrel that's on the first and third Friday of every month at twitch.tv slash stream four star at 3 p.m. Central Time. You can also find me on Twitter at Live Studio Brian, All where right. I usually tweet about updates and stuff like that for the show, the channel, the company, and my endeavors, and just random art and bullshit. Okay, and David... <laughs> So you can find me anywhere online at either at Offshoot Comics or at The Frog of War. Uh, you can also find me anywhere at any convention where Bandai will be at. I will be there as well. Uh, and the next show I'm going to will be Evo in Las Vegas. Nice. So, you know, check me out there. Yeah, and absolutely check out Frog of War comic. It's a it's a comic you can buy. Um, yeah. And, and – couldn't get it, but you know, we know what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just so you know, Barnes & Noble and Diamond are sold out, so. Wow. wow. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good Where thing, man. Find frogaward.com, right? Yeah, uh, frogaward.net. Frog, dot net. frog yeah. and ribbit, ribbit, frog of war. <laughs> right. And, um, and and make sure there. keep an eye out here. And if you go to frogaward.net, um, the Grid Breakers is coming soon. We'll, we'll, and we'll, soon. we will pimp it, so don't worry about it. You'll hear about it here. You'll definitely hear about it here. So, Grid Breaker is a cool game, and you can go watch. We did a video. You can go watch our, our Kickstarter video for Grid Breakers, because that's not going to change, right, David? I mean, it's, it's, you nope. can still watch that video. It's still exactly what it's it still, is. Still relevant, yep. Okay. Fantastic. All right, everybody. 
We, we don't have time to run the movie draft minute. Oh, sorry, yeah, no. Mike, you got it. Go quick, do it. Oh, I, I sent you the file so that you'd have it in your feed. Oh, uh, you didn't tell, you didn't clear that with me. I mean, you <laughs> sent it to me, but you didn't tell me. Make sure I have it, so I'm gonna play it and all that. I'm sorry, you didn't make it clear. I'm sorry, you didn't make it clear. Just can you can you tell me about the movie draft? So we have a movie draft that we do that is uh, people have been following and. Uh, and I'm in the lead, and there's a whole thing that Mike recorded, but he probably can't play it, right, Mike? Can you got it now? I can play it right now. Okay. Is that loud enough? It's pretty loud. Mythwits 2019 Summer Movie Draft Minute. I'm your host, Mike Kathis of the Mythwits. Ladies and gentlemen, the race for second place is really heating up to near tepid proportions. Here are your standings as of Friday, July the 19th, 2019. There's no change in Violet Lavoie's position at fifth place this week. She has $208 million. But next week, we shall see if Violet has a shot at fourth place with the Lion King, sure to deliver her $200 plus million. Speaking of fourth place, welcome back, A. Kovacs. With $449 million, it's time to begin your die in place defense of fourth place. <laughs> Comfortably in third place, it's the FDO himself, Scott Sigler, with a respectable $612 million. Folks, the race for second place is about the most exciting part of this year's draft. Can Spider-Man propel the FDO far from his home in third place? One might say, New York Times number one best-selling author Scott Sigler is on a collision course with second place. The only variable is time. And in second place, my Mikey Tingle is working overtime. I have $748 million. You know who doesn't have any Peter Tingle? Peter Bryant. He is so far in first place, he can see the back of his own head. Oh, and he has $1,236,000,000. million. This has been your 2019 Movie Draft Minute for the week of July the 13th to July the 18th. Powered by Aether Forge Creations. Yeah, Mike. I, I yeah. wrap this one up, baby, with a bow. Yeah. Gee, I, gee, I wonder what movie you got. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not just one movie. Anyway, in case anyone didn't know, we didn't have a show last week uh, for reasons, and um, so I stuck that in the feed. You can go and hear that, um, or um, you'll. But also, when we leave, when we conclude this episode, you'll hear this next week's. Included at the tail end of this episode, if you're on the audio podcast. Right. So, so, yeah. So, Brian, he, it's not just the one movie. I got the one movie, but then the morons let me get Toy Story 4. We have uh, drafting software called Draft Raptor, and it's a timed thing. Now, I'm running Draft Raptor as well as trying to bid on it, okay? And I literally put the wrong number in twice. <laughs> for trying to get Toy Story 4. I could have afforded it. I could have afforded it twice. <laughs> no, right. They let me have Toy Story for like 20 bucks yeah, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Face. It is. It's a tear. Right. I was like, why? I was like, what's wrong with you all? You guys are crazy. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? You gave me, you gave me in-game and Toy Story? What the fuck? That's, wow. <laughs> so anyway... All right, that's it. Guys, thanks for joining us. It was a great show. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, good luck with everything, everything that you're working on. Brian, you'll have to come back on again soon. We'll have to have you back on oh, again Oh, yeah. Soon. I would love to be back. Fantastic. And, David, good luck with all the things, man. And we'll have you on yeah. again soon, too. Uh, as Thank long you, as your schedule's it. freed up. I know you travel a lot, man. You're hey, you a hold of me. When you got cause to come on, we just you know how we, we just geek out with you anyway. So you are welcome just, anytime. You got you got free time. You're like, hey man, I'm I'm free in a couple of months. <laughs> yeah. hey, well, we'll have you on. And you know what? Awesome. Thanks, guys. If, if 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 comic book things do something fucked up, you want to talk about? Come on, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Call me yeah, up. I'm down for that. All right, down that's cool. That. <laughs> that's cool. When when Love and Thunder comes out, we have to do a show on that because honestly, look look, I, I don't I, I don't want to hate on something. But I just I don't see it being good. I just can't I imagine see, it will I be. I want to see what Taika brings to the table. Maybe I'm, I have Kristen Watiti. <laughs> oh, yes. That's the only reason. 
Maybe. Okay, look, I'm going to be I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. I'll give it a chance, but goddamn, I just don't see it happening. I just it's I just, it's going to suck. I just know it is. Yeah. We'll see though. Who knows? I, we'll I would see. love to be proven wrong. I would I will, love to enjoy it. I will it be sure too. It's a Tarantino film um with cyberpunk themed. It's going to happen. <sighs> yes, please. <laughs> please universe. Please give me a cyberpunk movie. Tarantino writes it. Neil Blokamp directs it, oh, and Pete no, jerks off to it. I just gonna, it's, I'm serious. Just bring it, make it happen. Make what? it happen. Make it happen. All right, everybody, let's let's do. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna get my clues already. Blah 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 blah, because I, I never remember any of this. So, and I should by now. I should know all of this. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Myth Wits, and it was. This was a good one. If you don't have a time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate, and make sure to share your favorite episode on social media. This would be a good one. This was really good. Uh, yeah, to help sure. spread Myth Wits love over the entire planet. Tweet us at MythWits and check out MythWits.com. Now, if you tweet us at MythWits, only Mike is going to see that, because I fucking hate Twitter, but whatever. We support it. We do. I, I will entertain you, though. You will? Yes, he will. All right. Mythwits is produced by Aether Ford's Chris. It's part of the TSR Podcast Network. TSR! Please go to TSR.com. Check out TSRPN.com and AetherForge.com for more cool stuff. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Edit it. Don't change it. And, oh, God. Don't cast... Natalie Thortman, get it? Natalie Thortman is a role in it. <laughs> Thanks everyone for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike. They're so big. Oh. Such big, strong hands. <laughs> I couldn't hold them. I am These Groot. <laughs>